Hello, we've got a rather unusual uh, Mercedes Sprinter 4x4 conversion for you here, and it comes at a fair bit of price. It price can go up to over 300,000 euros. And for that type of money, you're gonna expect something very special. And indeed, this is a very unusual van. Let's have a look, start off with, at the roof. See, there's a seat on the roof. It's got a place to sit on the roof of the van. Uh, so that is something very odd. Uh, on the outside, you've got, it has the uh, largest wheels which are permitted for this type of vehicle. So it's very thick uh, tires on it. It's got the undercarriage protection uh, from uh, Eagle Oat, uh, this uh, German off-road company. This thing is called the x -Pole, and you have up there its uh, social media uh, contact stuff. Let's have a look inside. First thing we've got, we see this uh, rather elegant looking floor coverage. Uh, now here, um, seating group with an L shape, and not only that, it's a seating group which can be extended by taking this thing. Here comes out, and we can put an extra seat up there. I, I won't do it though with uh, one hand, uh, but with, uh, with two, it can be done. Now it's got a rather large electrical uh, capacity and at the moment we've got 400 amps of lithium ferrous phosphate power in it. It can be increased to 800 amps. Uh, so uh, from in the kitchen itself, right, molded sink and uh, here we have gas uh, uh, cooker. Uh, plenty of storage below. It's got this door system, I say door system because I think that's the manufacturer of it and that keeps everything in its place as the vehicle is moving. And uh, one other rather curious thing here uh, is this, is that central locking, central locking and look at this, it doesn't move. And another feature of the central locking is as soon as the engine is uh, turned on, it automatically central locks. We've got down here an oven. It's a pizza maker, so I'm not going to start calling it. Um, up to the bed, storage here. And here as well. Now here we can get into the garage which in this case has got a fair amount of beer inside it. In fact, that's water. Maybe they can't, can't tell between the, the water and the beer here in Germany. Oh, ho, ho, that was a good joke. And right, more storage up here and access to the bed via these steps. Now what, what gonna, I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you into the uh, bathroom here light comes on as soon as i open it and it looks a bit like a, one of these shops like uh how what they call it uh something on provence Ossidan on provence or um body shop or something like with the this display here quite an interesting way of putting a display on where is the uh where's the toilet well the toilet uh it's here I've got, toilet goes in the box I'm gonna get this open, I've forgotten. Sorry, I took hold of it by the wrong place. There's the toilet. Shower, as you can see. Well, it's standing on the duckboard, but it's it's really, really big in here. I've got all of this space for uh, for washing myself and a sensibly uh, shaped uh, basin here with a proper domestic uh, drainage plug in it. And there's a sort of, I think that's might be a sort of towel there, holder. There you go, towels, up. towels go up there. And there's some more uh, space here for holding things. Obviously you think, well, they're gonna get wet. Well, not necessarily if you had it turned round like this. 
So let's uh, let's come out and have a walk around the back. I, thought, I hope I've remembered everything here. Here we've got a sort of a welcome home sort of uh, 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 push thing. So when you leave, you can press this and the lights go out. But if you uh, if you're coming back, press that, and if you want some more lights on, press that, and the lights come on, which I think is uh, that's quite that's quite good. Oh, I didn't, didn't show you this the one control panel, and this controls absolutely everything in it. So you can see uh, not only which lights are on, how much water, and you've gotten what the electrical st state is as well. This is an aircon unit which uh, is attached to the battery so you can use the battery of course the battery even with 400 ampere hours in it will not last a huge amount of time on aircon or maybe with the uh, the solar it might if a bright sunny day it might keep it running uh, for some time but normally one would want to be on hookup using solar and storage up there as well notice also that next to the driver the uh, driving position the driver can control the lights as well take you around the, the back of the vehicle And as you can see, there's a huge amount of space under the bed. They say they can get a motorbike in here, something a bit of a squash actually. You certainly get push bikes now there, a couple of normal bikes. Uh, surprised how you get a motorbike in there. But anyway, just repeating uh, what I was told. Now, if you want to get on the roof, I suppose you're going to have to climb up. Uh, there's the ladder. It does have an X on it. So that means I'm not going to get on the roof, I presume. Uh, this uh, thing here is a holder, really. It's a rack. Uh, you can see there's a number of them of this type being used. I noticed that this one's got the words Expo written on it to show it's proprietary. But uh, you can get them from other uh, manufacturers as well. Now, uh, I find this a rather interesting, Efix, bit on the expensive side vehicle. Of course, how many vehicles do have the possibility of actually sitting on the roof like that? And if you've seen any of my videos before, you may note, have noted that I like to sit on my own roof, although on my own roof, I don't have a, a seating arrangement. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'm at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf and I am bringing a number of vehicles like this which are really unusual to you. So if you want to see them, then uh, you might want to subscribe and uh, then you'd uh, be able to know when I'm uploading things, which is at 21.15 every day uh, Central European time. It's an hour earlier in the UK and uh, nine hours earlier if you're in California. Thanks very much for watching and all the best from me in Dusseldorf.